reality, I'm not mad. It's just, this this isn't like you, and I need to know why you did it. Mom, I, I didn't want to do it. I was with Martha, and she said that if I didn't, she, she wouldn't be my friend anymore. I'm sorry, I... It's okay, it's okay, I'm not mad. I promise you, I'm not mad. You're not? Of course not. You know, do you want to hear a story from when I was little, Melody? Well, when I was a young girl, maybe a little older than you, I ran into a very similar problem. I really wanted to be friends with the most popular girl in school, and I convinced myself that I would have to do anything to get it. I already had a best friend at the time. Her name was Amy. We were inseparable. Well, before Rose came along, that is. I wanted so badly to be friends with Rose, I didn't see how mean Rose was to everyone. The closer I got to being friends with Rose, the further I got from Amy, but I was too caught up in trying to be popular, trying to get in her circle of friends. Rose would do the same things to me that Martha did to you today. She would make me say mean things to other students or push them down, and while they would cry, she would laugh and pat me on the back like I was her little pet. After a month of me jumping to do everything Rose said, I think she was getting a little tired of the joke. But she wouldn't end it like that. She she just had to hurt me too. She she made me spread a rumor that that Amy was a lesbian. In in no time Amy was hated and made fun of by everyone in the whole school. Rose immediately defriended me and left me alone. No one would talk to me. They, they all thought I would do the same thing to them as I did to Amy. Amy stopped coming to school and I tried going to her house but her mother wouldn't let me talk to her. Soon after the day that I tried to talk to her, I learned that Amy had Amy had killed herself and she was so betrayed of what I had done to her and she couldn't handle the whole school turning on her. I was so desperate to be popular that I caused my best friend to take her own life. And as time went on, everyone forgot Amy, but I never did. How could I when I had caused her death? And eventually we moved here and I managed to meet some friends and even a boy. Um, but I never have forgotten Amy and I pray for her every night and you know I, I still regret what I did and I wish I could take it back every single day. So Melody, I want you to really think about what I told you and figure out whether or not it's worth being Martha's friend. But until then, come help me make dinner. Thank you.